and co-founder of Lucid Design Group. Uh, we're a, a clean tech software company based in the San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, the focus uh, of our company has to do with uh, providing uh, real-time information on electricity, natural gas, and water consumption in commercial buildings. Uh, there's many different applications of, uh, that are possible once you have this access to this information. Uh, and we're going to talk about what, what some of those are today. Uh, the mission for our company is to be uh, a platform that connects uh, with building automation systems and metering systems uh, to display this information to building occupants, uh, primarily for education and awareness. Uh, we say, uh, we use four words to, to describe this, uh, to engage, educate, motivate, and empower building occupants to conserve resources. So, uh, we'll, I'll give you a, a brief demo uh, of the product and talk about some of the applications uh, of it. So, uh, this is Building Dashboard. Uh, this is our, our flagship product. Uh, this is uh, used in, uh, on, on big screens such as this one inside, inside commercial buildings. Uh, what we're looking at right here is the uh, trend of electricity use here in this conference center, uh, we're at the McCormick West building in Chicago uh, for the Green Builds Conference 2010. And the U.S. Green Building Council asked us to uh, monitor the real-time electricity performance uh, here during during the conference. So we can see um, this this is a huge building. Uh, we've used uh, 369,000 kilowatt hours uh, so far today, and if you convert this into units of of dollars, so rather than kilowatt hours, but dollars spent, uh, it's about seventy thousand dollars just in a day to run this. So it gives you a sense of how large uh, how large this building is. Um, you can see an hour by hour consumption here on the graph. Uh, we can also change the the time scale if you want to look at uh, yesterday or today or this week. Uh, so similar consumption pattern yesterday. Uh, with about a hundred thousand uh, dollars just on just on electricity use. So our application is used by not just LEED certified green buildings. Uh, this McCormick Place is actually a certified uh, LEED building, um, but there's there's so-called brown buildings, uh, existing buildings as well, where this is a really good fit. And what we found is that uh, increasingly human behavior inside of buildings is a significant driver of energy use and, and water use. And so, although facility managers have a large role to play in buildings and, and architects and engineers have a large role in, uh, in determining energy performance of the building, once the building is delivered to them, they're working within certain constraints and occupants come in and they, uh, they have more electronics to plug in than before, they have uh, task lighting, they have uh, uh, space heaters potentially, uh, there's a statistic that one in ten office workers in America has a space heater that's 1500 watts at their feet. Um, the, and the proliferation of office equipment and electronic devices um, has really led to an increase in plug loads. So <clears throat> architects and engineers have a big role to play in the en energy performance of buildings. Facility managers have a big role to play. But what about the occupants? And we really think that occupancy, um, as architecture moves forward and low energy build buildings become a reality, um, we see occupants as having a key role to play in, uh, in minimizing energy use. So a lot of the gains in energy efficiency over the last 20 years have been in lighting and in uh, HVAC, but not in plug loads. And so that's, that's again, really important, uh, important piece um, for us is to be able to use a tool like this as a, as a teaching tool to enable conservation. So just as one example, uh, uh, one of our customers is Google, uh, located in, in Mountain View, uh, Mountain View, California. And they've used our product to uh, turn off computer monitors uh, on, a, on Friday evenings before the weekend, and they were able to save uh, about 7% on electricity use just by someone sweeping around the office space and turning off monitors. And that's the, that's the type of action that just wouldn't happen unless you had some sort of feedback and it was clear that your, your action, however small, 
uh, really does really does make a difference. So let me show you some of the other features uh, of building dashboard. Um, electricity use is the, the primary resource that gets monitored, uh, but there's other resources as well. So solar electricity, uh, if you have a, a solar photovoltaic system, uh, this is uh, looking at the, another uh, LEED certified uh, building in, in Berkeley, California. Uh, this is their photovoltaic energy production uh, so far today. Again, you can change uh, unit equivalents and we can express this in units of, of carbon dioxide that's been averted uh, from the atmosphere. So it's 185 pounds of CO2 that's been offset because of the uh, uh, photovoltaic production today. Water is another, is another resource uh, that is going to get a lot of attention uh, in the next couple of decades, uh, particularly in areas like the West and, and the Southwest in America. Uh, this is uh, a, a different uh, building. This one is in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, that is uh, we used about 1,400 gallons of water so far today. Um, this tool is being used by, um, by colleges and universities, for example, to have competitions to see who can conserve the most electricity and water. And that's been a, um, a very successful uh, effort for us. Um, we're actually involved in a uh, competition right now between uh, 40 different uh, colleges and universities in the U.S. and Canada to see who can save the most energy. Uh, there's actually there's also a water competition uh, as well, and we've, we're seeing significant savings. Uh, we were involved in one study uh, that looked at the, the psychological effect of providing this information to to building occupants and how much could they save. And in a competition setting, we saw savings of. 20 to 30 percent during a, an energy competition and in two cases we saw uh, a 55 percent reduction in electricity and a 56 percent reduction in electricity during a short-term competition period so that, that really underscores the, the importance at, uh, the important role that, that building occupants have in, in energy use. Uh, next uh, uh, let's look at the comparison module um, this is a uh, a feature that in, in buildings that have submeters, uh, so an additional granularity of metering, uh, that information can be displayed. Uh, this is the consumption in different categories, so the first floor uh, plug loads uh, in this uh, LEED certified school, uh, second floor plug loads, second floor lights. Um, you'll notice the kitchen, this is the big energy consumer. Uh, this is a, a school with uh, an industrial kitchen, a cafeteria. Um, clearly, that's uh, that's a, a significant uh, energy user. And you know, if you just had a monthly utility bill, there's really no way you, you would know where the power is being consumed. Um, you also have broken up into elevator, uh, an auditorium, emergency lighting, and the uh, heating, ventilation, and, and air conditioning. Uh, let's take a look at. Um, uh, our, our other product. So this is building dashboard kiosk that we've been looking at right now. 